all right <laughs> this is kind of uh a continuation of a despoir war but that's not really gonna be the main topic of this video you see here from this first tweet there was a guy who who said this and it caused a little bit of a rift <laughs> every time he said uh down south clubs be playing a little baby and money bag for three straight hours no reggae afro beat soca just trap music and there was a lot of people on his ass now most people that came in his comments was like well <laughs> if you don't want to hear it take your ass back home but see we don't, i don't know where he's from wherever uh, he's from if he's asking for that type of music though he has to be from like a florida maybe atlanta maybe new york type area yeah but anyway so obviously people was in his mentions and then his quotes all on him saying go back to where you come from if you want to hear that you know they, those people who said that were getting called xenophobic <sighs> um, oh they try to treat him how like when white people say go but tell them yeah like they, they, they kept referencing you sound like white people you sound how? like a white person when you tell people go back that go back because they kept using the go back to africa thing but they were just telling them go where you want to hear that music go to a club that play that some people were definitely saying go back to where you come from then like me oh shit but um <laughs> okay let's look at this from one way first if you're a person who goes to the club do you really want to listen to one type of music all night um if if that club predominantly plays that music then you already know well yeah that's yeah you got different clubs you got you, you know, i'm sure i'm clubs. sure there's a reggae club especially in let's I'm, say a place like florida but he was prefacing the south they don't want to hear no reggae there's afro beats <laughs> they don't damn sure don't want to hear no afro beats well, and what is a soca i don't know i don't you listen. should look that up what is that i don't listen to it so why don't I look it up because we're having a discussion on i'm not having a discussion okay. on the music i'm having a discussion on should he expect or should people expect to hear that music i no you should expect to hear complaints from people that are uh from these different areas to complain them about their music not being played but you're not in your country so yeah but every time i see one of these tweets where somebody who's um a, a foreign black person or a first generation american black person they'll say something about music how they first want generation american black person they'll say how they want what's a first generation american black person a uh, person who's is a descendant of uh, immigrants within one generation. Their parents came from another country. I still consider them wherever they came from. A first generation. That, I mean, that, that's that's the same say, thing. They've called themselves probably like first generation Jamaican. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But they wouldn't say. They're first generation American. They're, they're American. first they're generation Nigerian American. That's what they would say. Yeah, that's the way you would say it, but it's the same thing. But okay, anyway. you got to be specific when you're talking. <laughs> So normally these conversations start when music come into it. You see people that will complain about certain music not being popular amongst black Americans and they'll turn that into a, you know, debate on the quote unquote, the spore and war, I guess you call it. But that comment led to this comment that I saw. This guy here made a comment. He says, so you, you are descendant of slaves, but you want to be represented under the banner of a nation that enslaved you. <sighs> Now, this is where the topic comes. Should black Americans have a national pride of America? Should, should black Americans take and covet the American flag? Why not? Well, the number one answer they would say is America is the beast. They are no. imperial. They're all over the place. They're strong. All, all the countries are the beast in the beast system. Well, yeah, but they're saying that America is the head. So why would you want to support that? Is flag? America the head? Yeah, they would say, why do you want to support that flag when that's the one people that enslave you? That flag was not made for you. Why would Nigerians want to support their flag? Isn't ain't that like a fake country? Well, the flag is theirs, as far as I know. They created the flag. Yeah, the flag is theirs. Why are Jamaicans so proud of their flag? They created it. They created their own flag. Yeah. So pretty much a. They're saying you didn't, you have no participation in creating the flag, so you shouldn't be in support of it. Well, yeah, that's their belief. Their belief is that flag is not yours. It, it signifies quote unquote, white supremacy. So why would you support that flag? So I, I believe, I personally, I don't support the American flag. It's I don't see it as my flag, quote unquote. 
but people who do i guess i understand because more than likely if you support that flag i mean regardless of what it is you we have had family members everybody who's black in this country has had family members in the military so you have a certain level of they have died for this country they were in the military they have put blood in this land so in some way that flag do still signify a part of you do you agree with that blood sweat tears into this soil and so we don't claim the flag i'm not saying i, I said i don't i'm not saying i completely well, why don't you claim it just because i don't i don't want to i don't think it's i don't want to accept that flag i'm more likely to accept the juneteenth flag than that one even though juneteenth flag is actually for texans black people yeah i mean like, just like juneteenth itself let's be clear juneteenth is for texans because they were the last <laughs> to be freed yeah they, they even tell our black asses <laughs> Is actually for Texas, but we'll let but you. y'all let we'll let you be a part of it. Yeah, and, that, and that's and they don't made it clear when the reparation comes, they should get a little extra because they was in slavery for a, a little bit longer than everybody else was. <laughs> yeah, so you have a they already <laughs> got the tone set. This is Juneteenth, last Juneteenth, I saw some crazy shit. I saw a lot of foreign black people asking for donations to their cash apps and stuff on behalf of black people on Juneteenth, and it was like that's that was whack. Why would you do that? It's like us on Carnival coming out. It's that's not cool. But Carnival, that's not there. a good. Juneteenth is well. I guess you're right because Juneteenth Carnival is a that's a freak nick. That's what that is. <laughs> but it's it's more of a uh, what they call it. It would be like a like a celebration day, not a celebration day. I'm sorry. It's more like a um June, event. Yeah, Carnival is an event. Juneteenth is a holiday. It's a, yeah. It's a yeah. Juneteenth I, I guess, is like a Memorial Day. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Carnival is a freak, Nick. <laughs> so, yeah, I personally don't. You have the black American flag as well. Uh, that was made in the 90s. The question is, why do y'all have such a disdain against black Americans? Why are we under such a type? Like, everything we do is watched. Everything we do is criticized. We're the only people that cannot uh, embrace and celebrate our flag. Everybody else can, except for us. When they say that's not your flag. That's not their flag either. They did make their flag. That is the Haitian flag. They made it. So they they feel like you shouldn't. Rep so we can flag. we can rep the country, but we can't rep the flag. They don't even want you to rep the country, really. Why why they get why does Jamaica get to rep their country? Well, see that's that's where it gets weird because it's their country. They are majority and all that stuff. Now just so just because you're a majority, you know. But then again, it, it, this question becomes kind of silly when a foreign black person is telling you this because a lot of them come to this country in order to become a citizen. You have to what? pledge allegiance to america in yeah. order to become a citizen so a lot of these people who are citizens of america who are from jamaica haiti somewhere in africa they parents if not them had to pledge allegiance to america yeah like there was one tweet i saw of a woman who said how proud she is of being a nigerian but yet she's an american citizen and it's like well why did you come to america well they say we come to oh i'm not gonna talk a lot we come to America so that we can better ourselves and to get education. But most of the time, y'all end up staying here and not going back to your country. Well, see, that's where the Pan-African thing kind of dies with me. You can't talk all this stuff and not go back. Well, a lot Same of thing with the black back. Americans who talk. The, the most Pan-Africans are black American. You, you talk all this African stuff. You have to be willing to do it. I respect the people who say they are Pan-African. They want to leave America and leave. If you're going to talk all that and do all this book reading and stuff, but yet you're still here, then what does that say? Either you don't think Africa is good enough for you, the, the, you know, that religion, that's pan-Africanism, your God is Africa, either it's not good enough for you or you ain't really about what you say. So, yeah. Most of them really ain't about what they say. And that's why pan-Africanism is kind of became it's a... Dead. Sub, it's kind of a sub thing now. It's not even taken serious because a lot of the people that preach it the hardest are still here. And that's no shot at nobody. It's just the truth. They ain't gone nowhere. You haven't left. Now, You, ha I've seen people who I ask this question to, why are you still in America? They say, well, I don't want to leave my people here. Um, I don't want to just abandon them. Who are you abandoning? They feel like if they're here, they're in the struggle with their people. They're willing to stay and deal with the stuff they have to deal with because they want to help their own. But they, if they leave, it can lead to a problem. Remember that? Uh, what was her name? Amanda Seal? When that stuff started happening with the police and one of the things she said on Twitter, she said, 
thank God I got a passport. I can leave. She got dual citizenship. Yeah. And one of the Pan-African dudes said, see, you proven that ADOS and FBA stuff true because you're proving that you can just leave. They can't just leave. That's that's why it's a, it's a distinction. Y'all can go back to Jamaica. Y'all can go back to Haiti. Y'all can go back to West Coast, West Coast of Africa, wherever you come from. We stuck in this shit. We ain't got nowhere to go. You know, they keep bringing up the Ghana thing. Oh, the, uh, the uh, 400 years of the home, come home thing. It's like, no. bro, first off, you have to be eligible for it. No. Who knows what that is? What what is the what what do I have to do to be eligible for it? There you you can I guess you can go on a website, yeah, and try to see what. But most people, come on, man, it, it's it's way harder than it should be to get citizenship. If you really want these people to come back, you will make it a lot easier. So, I personally am not a proponent of supporting the American flag, but I understand why some people go. This is where I am. This is who I am. This is what my people been. This is my great, 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 great grandparents been here since, you know, the last three, four hundred years. This is who my this is my country. We put as much blood and sweat into this as anybody. Do you feel like this is your country? Well, yeah, this is this is the country I live in. Okay. You know, I am American. It is what it is. But I don't see myself as a, a part of the American system, I guess you would say. We just kind of captives. <laughs> In this place, we just you don't wait. see yourself as a part of the American system. How do you not see yourself part of the American system? It's been proven, and not only in the Constitution, but all over the place. Three fourths. I mean, you not it's not for you, but it is what it is. Um, that's just my belief. Do you support the American flag? I support the American flag in a sense of this is my country. And this that's the flag of the country. So in that sense. So you support the flag? You don't. <laughs> you saying the same thing I just hold on. You said the same damn thing I just said. No, you sitting here saying like you just try to make it seem like okay, you can be a separate in- entity inside from of a country. Inside yeah. of a country. But at the same time, it's just like nigga, where you gonna go? Ain't about going nowhere. You just said okay, anyway, that's the end of the video because you just said the same thing I said. I thought you were gonna disagree. But anyway, uh, I mean, I, I mean, it's it's hard for me to a- explain it. When I hear you say it, it's just like you're like I'm. I'm. It's like okay, you are a part of the system. How you have a social security card? Well, yeah, you, you have a I, you you have a social security number. I mean, I should, yeah, you, you you're into the system. How can you not be a part of the system? I mean, I guess you could say the society. They know man. how to track your ass when shit go down. They know where you're at. You're talking logistics. I'm talking about societal point. as far what do you mean by societal you don't are you saying the american side society includes black people does it not so you, well, what the hell are you talking about reparations for then if you're already in, included in the society reparations is, reparations is a debt that's owed why would you want it if you're already part you included already you got access to everything right so just because hold on i'm you're not and i'm not agreeing with you're saying but just even if i did have access to everything that still yes means it, that they should not pay a debt that's due no you're nigga you sound everything. crazy <laughs> you yeah we can end the video <laughs> no you're saying <laughs> you are completely integrated into the society i'm not have- saying that i'm completely integrated into society what i'm saying is we are part of the system okay are you integrated into the society or not and do you want to be integrated into society no i don't want to be so integrated what's the point? what are we talking about here but we are somewhat integrated in- you're saying we are a part of the system then you're saying but we still need reparation why is that so hard to- because if you integrate into society and have every chance that everybody got and there's no disadvantage there's nothing against you everything is fair and what are we talking about who said all of that you said we in- were into we're in- we are completely integrated so i didn't say we're completely integrated into society what you, i said, you said was, we're part of the system we are part of the system are we not a part of the system i, I don't understand if you're talking i got a social security card or do you mean societally what are you talking about that's two. That's not the same thing. This is crazy. Are you saying? Are you asking me if I'm a citizen? Yeah, I'm a citizen. What do you? I don't get it. So if you're a citizen, what does that mean? I'm a citizen of the country. Are you? And what? What does that come with? Are you saying I have rights then? Do you have no rights? America don't give rights. So we. So we don't have no rights at all. Things are convoluted. Okay, folks, 
we're gonna end the video right here because we ain't gonna get nowhere because you're talking this conversation no i'm not talking in circles you are you're saying that we're citizens but we're just citizens we don't have no rights we're not any way at all integrated into society we're just here just so why do you want reparations you have because there's a debt owed so having having rights and being a citizen does not exclude the fact that there's a debt owed for slavery for wages that were unpaid but that's what your ancestors fought for your ancestors fought for citizenship did they not receive citizenship they got it i'm asking you no i already said what i said do you think they got it did they get citizenship how you gonna I ask you the question? You can't ask the question with a question. Are they did they get what they wanted? Citizenship. There's nothing else to ask for. I, I don't understand. No, not a fucking quarter to me. <laughs> Travis, you Dude, literally okay. are saying this. Let's just end the video. We ain't gonna get nowhere for <laughs> We're gonna do this Saturday. We, we ain't gonna get nowhere again Saturday. Be sure to check in on that. We're gonna do a, a pod that I don't day. know how you cannot view yourself as a citizen. I don't know how you cannot see yourself somewhat integrated into society. That doesn't mean everything is perfect. That does, that does not mean that we get fucked over all the time. But we are citizens. I, we have some way, somewhat integrated ourselves in society. Not fully. And I'm, that's because we don't want to. Travis. So you said we should. No, I don't want to. I, I never said we weren't a citizen. I literally said that. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are wow. you talking? No, what are you talking about? I literally started with: Do you believe in the American flag? Do you think we should, black people support the American flag? And you went into this: I'm American, and that's the country I'm in. So that way, I support the flag. I said, "Well, I, I said the same thing. I'm American, but I don't care about no flag. I don't care about this country." I just I, asked the question: Do you love America? Do I love America? I, no, I don't love America. Okay, so what are we talking? <laughs> okay, anyway, because he just talking at this point. <laughs> Uh, no, anyway, I'm not man, just thanks, talking. <laughs> thanks for viewing the video, listening to our ramble and rant against each other. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. All praise the Most High and peace. That's bullshit. Without question, we are all Black Americans. You do not know a goddamn thing about Africa. I am from Detroit, Motown. So you can watch Tootsie your monkey ass back to Africa if you want to.